This will be a tutorial on how to create a chart that on the bottom axis or the X axis, it will show um, the year, the quarter, and the weeks. And then whatever data that you have um, to show in the actual graph will show uh, in accordance with those durations. So the first step I like to do is write out the weeks and we'll drag this down until it says 52 and for this example I'll just do two years and actually to make it easier for me on quarters so that I can count the cells I'm gonna go ahead and make another cell right next to the week cell with the same data and I'll show you why here in just a sec um, and so the key for how to have the graph actually show all these components is to merge this sh merge the cells um, for the year and the quarters. So right here we're going to merge these cells and write 2016 or whatever year you want to depict. I like to center that up there. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for these next 52 weeks. Merge and center and make this 2017 and bring it up here. And now for the quarter, since we're dealing with 52 weeks, everything will be 13 weeks. And that's why I put the numbers here so that there's something in here to count so that I can drag down every 13 weeks and merge and center and write Q1. Drag this down until it says 13, merge and center. Q2, oops, Q2, and we'll remove the hyperlink there that accidentally came out. Drag down 13, Q3, and one more time for Q4. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy these quarters and paste them down here. And now let's create fake sales data here by just doing ran between, let's say they do sales between 300 units and 750 units. Drag this down all the way, copy, paste as a value. And now when I highlight this whole group of cells for the two years worth of data, we're going to get a chart that looks like this that's going to show the year down here, the quarters down here, and the weeks up there. And to clean this up a little bit, let's go ahead and drag this out and format the axis. Your, if you have a newer version of Excel, your user interface will obviously look a little different. Oops. We'll go back here and change this to none and low. I want to take marks. And just because we're dealing with so many weeks, you'll see that um, it doesn't capture, it goes every other week um, for all of the odd weeks. If we kept tweaking this around and making it even smaller, um, you can potentially get all the weeks in there. Um, but for the most part, this should suffice. Um, the key part of, the, part of this tutorial was to show how to depict the year, the quarter, and the weeks all within one axis. And you do that again by using the merge function here. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope this helps.